perfect people it is Katie back with another video in the field but this one is even more special because we are on our way to visit Eric of the RVA Lawn Love Channel say hey Brandon hey and hey Jimmy hey we're really excited to get to meet with Eric because we've been chatting with him for months about things that he's seeing in the RVA area as well as what we're seeing and how it's impacting lawns especially with all of this crazy heat and high incidences of fungus it's just been a tough year so Eric is awesome because with his RVA lawn love channel he is taking the DIY industry by storm making it accessible making it fun and he's got a really great following of people who are interested in the lawn care industry and helping their own lawns the right way. So Eric has been having kind of a similar issue that we've been having in a lot of our properties in terms of correct watering coverage. Check out our watering video if you haven't already, as well as seeing some fungus and a lot of heat stress. So we're going out to take a look at it, help him with some fungicide, and collaborate to see if we can solve some of these heat problems. personality that is doing a great job at making DIY lawn care accessible, user-friendly, and really interesting. How, how did you get into the lawn care thing and taking care of your own property like this? Well, growing up I always helped out, you know, it was like a chore of mine to help dad out with the lawn and um, being a sports fan my whole life I've always liked lawn stripes and so I've tried to, at a young age to implement that in my own yard and as a way to make money as a young man, I would cut some grass and uh, it's, it's just something that's enjoyable, it needs to get done and uh, I'm a hands-on kind of guy, so just kind of always been something I've done. Well that's, that's perfect, you're doing an awesome job. So if you go to the RVA Lawn Love channel, which you have to do because he's got great content out there, he's explored a lot of products that we ourselves have experience with and do an awesome job. But Eric has turned this lawn from zero to 60 in less than a year. And he's doing a great job. And we're out here today because like everybody else in the area, he is having troubles with heat stress and a little bit of fungus, some breakthrough weeds, and that's really typical. So we applied a fungicide to help kind of give it a kick in the pants and see if we can get something better going. Outside of what's going on right now, have you had any problems that are worse than this? Is this kind of the biggest challenge you've faced so far? In the yard? Yeah. Uh, the heat stress, yeah, other than the hurricanes when I planted the yard. <laughs> that Definitely. Was, you know, washing all that work straight into the woods. But um, yeah, once the yard has been grown, then by far dealing with the heat, um, it's amazing how much shade helps the other areas of the yard. And I get no shade in the front center. So it, it's, yeah, it's definitely a struggle. <laughs> Sun doesn't come over here. Mm -mm. It's not, well, it starts over there, but this still stays shady, stays shady for some reason because I guess maybe those trees. But yeah, this. Where's, where's, where's all the fungus that you really, really start to see? Um, like right in here. Is, this has evolved a lot in the last couple of days. The area that I was tearing that stuff up with my fingers is right back over there in front of that sprinkler head. But this is probably. I mean, did you put detach down yesterday? Yesterday. At what rate? Nine. 
I know that you are really passionate about not just doing it for yourself, but also learning as you go and that self-education and knowledge enrichment, which is to me why somebody should do things themselves is to learn how to do it. If you're a kinesthetic learner, that's the best way to really master a subject. Now that you have experience with the time constraints and everything else that's involved in DIY, if it weren't for your passion about understanding what you're doing, would you be doing it DIY? Do you think it's for everybody? It's definitely not for everybody. There's, there's, there's so much that you don't realize that you don't know until you try to take on every task by yourself. Um, some guys, you know, go out and they, it, they make it look easy, you know, and it, it, they might have easier yards uh, or easier sections. You know, if I just had to take care of that section back there, I'd be in great shape, you know. It's, but it, if it wasn't for me wanting to know the why things are done certain ways, you know, and why the grass grows certain ways or in Greener certain Greener on certain sides. Right. You know, it, if it wasn't for that, yeah, I'd very well probably just cut it once it, you know, got unbearable and just leave it alone. Just leave it. Well, you're doing job and well, I really you. appreciate the resourcefulness that you're showing on your channel and the representation you're giving to a lot of companies that are working very hard to make strides in the industry to be not only more effective but also more responsible and that's a big deal yeah. if you haven't yet like I said be sure to check out RVA Lawn Love it's an awesome channel he's doing a giveaway right now we donated a hat like the one that he's wearing so anybody who enters by subscribing and commenting with a suggestion on how to make his channel better you might have a chance at winning not just our awesome hat but also some great products from Carbon Earth, from Green County and a lot of other producers. Keep watching them. Channel on the rise. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching as we explore this property. We're really excited to have made an awesome new friend in the industry Me and on too. YouTube. Awesome. Bye everybody and have a picture perfect day. Peace. Peace.